The Critic, and today we're going to be reviewing the greatest movie of all time. My friend stars in it, it's named Paddington. This is the greatest movie ever. Not a single movie is better than this movie. Like, you can't get better than a talking bear. It's greatest. It has no flaws at all. It's a fantastic movie. Ow! Ah! Ah! Don't interrupt my reviews, okay? Okay. Alright, Paddington. Green screen might be a little weird today, but still getting worked out. So last week they released Paddington 2. And I'm going to be seeing that on Tuesday. I didn't because I wanted to see The Greatest Showman last week. I would have seen Paddington 2, but I didn't. Now I'm seeing The Greatest Showman. On Tuesday we're seeing Paddington. So yeah, did I like Paddington? Yes, I did. Did I have problems? A few. Paddington is this is not my style of movie, but it can be it's an enjoyable film. It's not my style, but I I enjoyed the film enough. So it feels a little weird for me to say like I don't like it. I just had a couple, you know, problems with it. First one is it felt a little cliche. The characters were absolutely stereotyped into it, like the mother, the sis, the daughter, the brother, the dad, they were all really stereotyped. The villain was pretty crappy, but it, it's a really stereotyped movie. We're spoiler free, but I overall kind of had a uh, mixed thoughts on all these problems, but in the end, it's kind of fun to watch. This is going to be a very way shorter review than usual because I don't have much to say. If I want to keep it spoiler free, then I don't have much to say, so... It's, in the end, I, I liked it, I guess. It's not my style of movie that much. And it, it, it felt a little bit of a weird movie. Um, yeah. It had way too many cliches in it, but I get it's supposed to be for kids. I am a kid, and I actually read the book before watching this movie. In the book, it does not stay loyal to the book, but... It, it, it's still a good movie, and I, I overall enjoyed it. 8 out of 10 for the original Paddington. I almost gave it a 9, however, it doesn't among my favorite movies of all time. It's just a good movie. It's just it's just a good movie. That's it. So, 8 out of 10, we're going to see Paddington 2 next week, which I am hyped for because it is the highest rated movie on Rotten Tomatoes yet. So, I think that that's going to make, that makes me excited. Very excited. Yes, I am very, very excited for Paddington 2. I heard it's as good as the first so we'll see what we think next time. Bye.